Ready to learn how to use a light meter on outdoor location portraits? Let's get to it. This has been your most requested video is how to use a light meter outdoor. Now, I would know what you might be thinking if you're just tuning into this. Why do I need a light meter outside? Well, it's to use flash on your outdoor photo shoots. And I'm going to show you how to take your ambient light reading, your natural light, and incorporate flash to get the look you want from blending with the natural light to a more dark, moody portrait, which is something that I'm known for. But I'm going to show you how easy it is to do with this tool right here that many of you are paralyzed by a light meter. And so standing next to me today, new in the rotation, we've got Marilyn. Marilyn, say hi to everybody. Hi, how's it going? Let's give them your uh, handle. What it's is it? Marilyn.fan. All right, let's get started. Let's have some fun. So the first thing we're going to do here is if you're using your light meter, and we'll show you close-ups of this, first thing you're going to want to do is put your light meter not in flash, but you're going to want to put it in uh, ambient light mode. You're going to hit T, which means we're setting the shutter speed and setting the ISO, and I want to know what my f-stop is. So I'm setting my shutter speed to 250th of a second, ISO 200, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a meter reading here, which means that the light coming in here is coming in at 284. That's what she's being lit with. Now, in this particular scene, she's being lit with the same light that's lighting the background as well. And that's important to understand because the sun could be behind her, the sun, right? So in this particular case, I'm using the same reading of what's hitting her in, on her face that's hitting her in the background. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna make a creative decision, okay? Do I want the background now to be dark and moody? And how dark do I want it to go? And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring in this flash here. So the question is, we understand light is hitting her at 2.8, it's hitting the background at 2.8. If I set my camera to F4 with no flash, background's gonna go darker. F5, 6, even darker, right? Why? Because the light's at 2.8. So 4.0, 5.6, F8, it's getting darker and darker and darker because there's only 2.8 worth of light hitting her. And so let me take a few shots uh, just so you can kind of see this on camera. So I'm not using any flash. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my camera in manual mode and I'm gonna take multiple frames of Maryland here. So I'm in manual mode, ISO 200, 2.8, okay? And I'm gonna just take a picture of Marilyn right here. And what you're seeing is a perfectly exposed image. It's even throughout, and that's what the light meter gave us. But now I'm past that. Now I'm making decisions for the light. How dark do I want that background to be? So if I go one stop darker to 4.0, take the same shot, you're gonna see that background got darker. If I go to 5.6, Background's gonna get even darker, and I like the way that looks. That's the way I like to shoot. I like that dark background and then her popping off with light. So I now know on camera, I'm going to F2.8 because we already know that's the ambient, and I'm gonna match to ambient, and you can see the difference between a darker, moodier portrait and one that matches more with the ambient, okay? So now you might be thinking, well, if it's matching with the ambient, why use flash at all? I don't want any shadows on her face. I wanna have beautiful, even lighting on her face, so that flash can just be a pop of fill or something like that, but you're seeing the, the thought process and how we went. So we already know at F5, this is giving me 5.6, 5.6 to 4.0 is one stop. 4.0 to 2.8 is one stop. So in theory, right, because these work in full stops, I should just go from five to three and I should be damn close. So let's test it out. I've changed the power to three now and I'm gonna meter her and it should be at 2.8, which is what we want. Now remember, you might be thinking, well, the natural light is 2.8, Sal. So of course it's gonna meter at 2.8. No, it's not. I'm in flash mode on this, not ambient. So now I'm gonna measure this. Okay, 401, sorry, I gotta come down one more. If I learn how to count, 288, test. At 28, you're seeing the shot that looks completely balanced with the background. Same brightness on her in that background. And so that's something that you wanna start seeing and understanding on how to balance the ambient. So some of you may like that look, but notice on this, right? And if I zoom in here, the shadows are just perfect on her face. No, uh, now, of course, Marilyn doesn't have deep set eyes or anything like that, but let's say you did. Let's say you had a client with deep set eyes in this type of light, even though there's no direct light in here, they're gonna get those kind of raccoon eyes. You would balance your, your flash with the ambient, the natural light, just to give them a little pop in their eyes and bring their eyes to life, right? So that they have those catch lights. Uh, that's what we're able to do with this. Now, personally, this is not what I like. I like the darker background and then popping off. So I'm gonna get back to that and we'll take, show you some final images when we're all done. So I'm gonna do the five, six. All right, let me get a test shot. Make sure I like it, Marilyn. Well, I like this. Here we go, test. Perfect. You just gotta work in that spot. There we go. Love that. Yes, right there. Love that, Marilyn. Stay there. I'm trying to keep you centered in those doors. Perfect. Give me your eyes. Here we go, one, two. Perfect, do your thing. 
I love that. Perfect. There you go. Looking away. Here we go. One, two. Perfect. Do your thing. Yep. I like eye contact. Stay there. Let me get full body. Whatever you were looking at is perfect. Open that right elbow a little bit. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Stunning. Beautiful, Marilyn. Hopefully this gets you guys going. Like I said, it's your most uh, requested video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. I got to get back to work.